Hi, Caleb. Oh, hello again. Can you help me reverse this spell? You said you were a connoisseur of the occult, right? Beast of the senses. Trying to watch your figure, eh, Porky? What? No, it's not for me, obviously. It's for... Don't worry, carnivorous wood. Oh, come on. That doesn't even sound like Threepwood. Losing weight is easy if you follow a strict diet. Here, try this. No, I don't need a diet. I... Never mind. Hmm. Diet of the senses. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. A light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. Fight the smell of the after-dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. Old Brute, the pirate alternative to bathing. This might help stave off that fresh corpse smell I'm starting to notice. A fishnet woven of the finest meshes. Up we go! This looks as good a spot as any. Yikes! Flying sand fleas! Uh, so this is what happened to my cursed pirate parrot of Petaluma after Desinge obliterated it. Now I got you, tiny little parrots. Oh, they're like tiny, annoying golden mosquitoes. Sorry, guys. I need to keep you in a more contained space than my jacket pockets. Tree board. Whoa, Nelly! The spirit binding must be messing with my head. Hello, Guybrush. Ah, you can do that too? I'm sorry, but I must still conceal my whereabouts and communicate through the vessels of nature's works. You picked a dead seagull? A perfect place to go unnoticed. I can't help but think the advantages of flight could be more useful. All right, I can't keep wasting time. Elaine isn't getting any less demonic. The sponge, Guybrush. If you can find a way to return it to its small, immature state, LeChuck's hold on Elaine will be lifted. Yeah. Well, that's about all the dead waterfowl convo I can handle. As you wish. Yuck. A feather. 
a tiny touch. Gross. Looks like somebody was on their way to a LeChuck dress-up contest. Treepwood! Yeah, stop doing that! In there, you will find some of the things that allowed LeChuck to get so close to your beloved Elaine. What? I don't think I want to look in there anymore. LeChuck's human form was most impressive, but we can all use the help of voodoo from time to time. I think I'm set in the voodoo department. If it's trust you seek, LeChuck's belt should do nicely. Don't you find it strange that LeChuck left this stuff out here in the open? I think he'd want to get rid of it. LeChuck is careless. <sighs> the dead bird is not helping me trust her more. Welcome back, friend. Take a look at this. Nice find, friend. Did you steal that yourself? I did. I snatched it right off LeChuck's belt. Hmm, I trust that you did. Yeah? What if I told you that I stole this from a three-headed mermaid who had come here from the future riding a giant space turtle? I trust you, friend. If you say it's true, then I believe you. Hey, what's in this thing? That? Oh, that's a secret. Oh, what kind of secret? If I knew that, it wouldn't be a secret. Nice secret you've got there. Care to share it with me? Hmm. Normally I wouldn't trust a thief like yourself, but there is just something about you. Oh, that's just the enchanted voodoo charm talking. What? Oh, nothing. Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. How come there's only one of these? I thought all probationary members had to wear blindfolds. Probationary members? There are no probationary members here. But your bouncer said... Ho oh, ho ho, that rock rib! Always good for a laugh! Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. I surrender. Take me to jail. For what? For kidnapping my own body. Good enough. Let's go. A taste so bland there is nothing to savor. This ABC gum should fit the bill. Hmm. I guess I'll head back to the bar. A towel, sir. Thanks. Back in my regular digs, only slightly worse for wear, considering.
a minute. Some of my stuff is gone. That two-bit thief robbed me. Pretty smoothly, too. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. This blindfold ought to do the trick. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. Bon voyage, my barely audible buddies. A light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. One sponge shrinking secret coming up. Fight the smell of the after dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. Fights odor and wetness for the active pirate. And sponges. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. Here you go, sponge. Chew on this for a while. Uh-oh. I hope that's not indigestion. you think what you did can't be undone? Elaine will be my demon bride, come hell or high water. Guybrush, how? The voodoo lady, she brought me back. The voodoo lady? Think of all the peril that woman has put you in. You've been blindly led around by her for so long, Guybrush. But without her... Attack, my fishy friends! Hit him with the old backward sea slug! Ah, enough of this! This be going on far too long! Elaine is mine! My demon bride, to make me a kingly breakfast each morning. To see to it that my fortress of evil is kept tidy in case we have guests over to torture. To patch up all my worn out tattered socks. And... That's my Laney Pooh. You're right, sweetie. He doesn't give you much to work with, does he? Uh-oh. <clears throat> Excuse us a moment, Guybrush. The wifey and I need to have a little private talk. A futile, if admirably treacherous gesture, my buttercup. Even without La Esponja's help, I've already sucked up so much power that I can simply step into the crossroads and take as much voodoo energy as I desire. <laughs> you see, you can temporarily destroy my body, Elaine, but you cannot damage my spirit. Oh, my spirit! That, you big, ugly, undead voodoo stealing bunch back toad! Oh, uh, Morgan? Well, what are you doing here? And where did you get that sword? Look, we can kill a Chuck, but we have to find a way to take him on in both the physical and the spiritual plane at the same time! Do what now? <sighs> Look out! I'll be back for you, lass. Let's shock! <laughs> Think of all the times you've tried to destroy me. Uh, <laughs> to be fair... Oh. Ow. All that pain, all that suffering. Now just imagine what I'm gonna do to you, Threepwood! Oh. Guybrush! 
I've always wanted to try this. I'm Guybrush Freefoot, Mighty Pi- Ooh! Whoa! Oh. Uh, Helene! Guybrush! Uh, a little help here? I'm on it, sweetie. <laughs> Would you mind inspecting me hull for me? Oh, it's full of holes. We should really take her into port. Get a nice mug of grog. Ugh, talk about the good old days. I think today will become my good old days. Stop it, you monstrous maggot mating ground! <laughs> Elaine, not even you and your flimsy sword can stop me now. Watch me try. Ugh. Ow! You bastard. <laughs> Did we enjoy our little swim? <sighs> Refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> you look spent, Swabby. Perhaps you ought to rest a spell. Off to your quarters. Whoa! It's so cute, watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? Ah! Oh. But Chuck, oh, you've kidnapped Elaine, you've strung me up in lame traps, zapped me with a voodoo doll, you've tried to force me to be your undead slave, but never tried to kill me so brazenly. Which is the greatest mistake I ever made. What? Mind the drop! Oh. Making a mess! I'm gonna swab my deck with your scraggly excuse for a beer. It's so cute, watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? Ah! Oh. <sighs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
try to fly away, little peepwood. I can get back into the crossroads, at least the Chuck won't have as much sea hardened ship to smash me into. You know what's so great about this? Ah! <laughs> We're both getting our cardio in for the day? The simplicity. It's just you, me, my ship. Elaine! And no voodoo lady. By Blackbeard's boots, I hate that woman. Now I think it's time for you to swab the deck. Uh, Elaine! Guybrush! I like the cannon! Yes, dear! Ah, a seesaw. Let's see. Huh? Chuck's giving me a bit of the business. We need to trap him, Guybrush! Oh, you two can get cozy together when I'm done giving Threepwood his painful and permanent farewell into the afterlife. Ow! Guybrush, what are you doing? It's... The only way. What? Yeah. You. <gasps> Is it over? Hello? Did we win? I guess we did. Hmm. Courage, anchor, direction, sacrifice. Place these things in a ring at the center of the crossroads. Ha! Ah, clever. Wow, what a rush! Hey, my hand is back! Oh. Skybrush! Oh, it's about time! It is? Wait, you were expecting me? But I was dead! Is that why you gave me- You should know enough to trust me by now, Guybrush Threepwood. But you asked LeChuck to make you a demon bride. How did you know I would be able to bring you back from that? After all these years and all of our adventures, two things are certain. That I always have a plan, and that Guybrush Threepwood will always come for me when I need him most. That's my plunder bunny. Well, the important thing now is that LeChuck is gone. For good this time. And you are finally free from whatever fate was planned for you and LeChuck. And that's what this whole Esponja Grande thing has been about, huh? Actually, it's pronounced Esponja with an H sound at the end. Really? But we've all been saying Esponja. Yes, I know. It's been bothering me this whole time. I'm just telling you because I don't want you to look silly. Oh, you're going to get it.
So, my child, have you done as I asked? I have. Now for your end of the deal. Yes, your actions have influenced your fate. I will allow your ghostly form to return to the physical realm to carry on as a fearsome pirate hunter. Ghost pirate hunter, Morgan LaFlay. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Perhaps. You have chosen your own fate. Now go. There is much work to be done before the tides of destiny shift again. Ha <laughs> ha.